Hey guys, just a quick reminder that you can check us out on Reddit r slash Split View Podcast or on Discord, link is on YouTube, and we're also on Apple Podcast and Spotify and also YouTube. Okay, thanks, bye. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Gee, that was a weird thing that played at the beginning of the oh, podcast. Yeah. What was Tom, that about? you sound so attractive in that one. Okay. <laughs> you sound so handsome. Well, I'm just going to use your one, just so that makes no sense. No, no. Yeah. you have to wait till next, or well, actually, I guess, Flickview. No, you've already heard Geordie's one. Yeah. Are we going to use it for Flickview as well? well we probably yeah, should. as well. Yeah. Well, how are we going to pick for Flickview, though? Just because it's not like one, a set week. Well, I, I guess I'll be flick view. I mean, I'll be split view and you be flick now, view. No, what we'll do is we'll use the same one for both episodes per week. <laughs> okay. So if it's your week, which it is, it's your it's Tom's oh, week. Yeah, Tom's yeah. week. Yeah, then Tom's we'll week. use Tom's audio for the stuff. We have a little yeah. bit of a pre-roll because we have lots of stuff going on now. We yeah. recently have a, made a Reddit page. We're networking. Yeah, exactly. And, mm. um, you know, we're... we're, we're being picked up by a few things, a few bots on YouTube, <laughs> and I want them to know that where they can find us. You the know? bots think we're sexy. They do think we're <laughs> sexy. We have some, uh, and oh my god, and they also think that we're a bunch of uh, people who let fame get to our heads. But we've already <laughs> talked about that. I was thinking of um, in JTAP just having a bunch of advertisement for Split View, like check out Split View podcast. Oh, I would do that, that for sure. <laughs> so. Tom's working on a uh, a program right now for. Not just us, actually. Yeah, for, for podcasters. Podcasters in general, because the two of us, like, I edit Flick View and Tom edits Split View, yeah. but I don't know how to do any RSS shit because I'm a big dumb stoop. It's even more than that. Like, you would have to be able to, like, SSH into my server. Like, you'd have to learn Linux file directory stuff, like how to exit Vim and Nano, which fucking See, sucks. And if you're you're the Geordie in this situation, none of that is even in English. And so what he's doing is he's basically giving me something that I can just hit upload and then all it's of a sudden as well. it's on Spotify. Yeah, because yeah. you don't have to do it. It's a nice I little suppose. tool. Um, it runs onto my server or your server. Tom, plug you your GitHub right now. Uh, GitHub.com slash seriously not Tom. Uh, you might find a contribution to a Valve repository. I don't know what yeah, that's about. Yeah, though. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I was very whatever. proud of my friend Tom <laughs> okay. when he told me about that. He's, yeah. he's officially in... Uh, Valve's code now. Well, I'm I'm on the contributor page for that GitHub now, or well, that repository. I mean, that's pretty fucking cool. I feel if you shitty ask me. when I'm like, oh, I'm in a fucking Valve repository now. <laughs> They're fine, dude. You earned it. Why okay. are you fucking upset okay. about it? I you, don't know. You got, you got to own this shit. I don't man. like gloating too much. But yeah, this this tool it's called JTapped or JTapped, except that sounds dumb. Geordie and Tom's awesome podcast tool. Yeah, and uh, I've including like the config files and shit, and it just lets you upload and uh do the like schema like naming and description and all that for podcasts yeah so just it, a if one, you guys one are out tool. there wanting to would you be able to use it if you were starting your own podcast maybe? oh yeah absolutely yeah. so if you're thinking about it and you don't really know how to do most of the shit yeah you'll still need to get i'm um, imagining a provider and shit to get it onto well, yeah, a server or something yeah. but that can be done really easily nowadays and uh so if you just look that part up and then maybe download it once tom's uh released it he'll tell us all on the podcast i'm sure when he's yeah. done because he's not quite finished yet but um yeah it's gonna be pretty damn nice and it's got his signature nice purple on it because that's <laughs> it tom's favorite actually. color well yeah because it's from from Alcubia. so if you want to add that to his wikipedia page what his favorite color <laughs> okay. is you need to download jtapped yeah. and uh jtapped jtapped and um and then color pick it on like photoshop to get the exact uh i don't even know what the hex code, code is yeah yeah so what are okay. we going to talk about today, Tom? Um, I was, I was, I, I liked the format of you asking me random questions and me being like, I don't know, dude. So, <laughs> all right, I'd, cool, cool, cool. I thought I'd ask you questions that may or may may not be hard hitting. Okay. So, Jordy, how do you wipe? How do you wipe your your little? Oh bum? my god! I have. Do you know what's funny? I have had yeah. this conversation with my entire family. Do you know why? Yeah, I know, know why. Because once you find out things about certain people, yeah. you can't yeah. look at them the you same. You go through your life not knowing that there are like five different I ways to wipe your ass. I found out something about someone in my <laughs> life that I can't unthink of now. Okay. And you're listening to this. I know you are, and I don't know why you do that. Okay. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> you're okay? not going to say what it is? No, because I'm not going to dox that person. So, Jordy. How do you wipe your your bum? I bum? wipe uh, from back to front. No, like, so there, there sitting are sitting down. Yeah, me too. I wipe sitting down because I'm not yeah. a fucking nasty person. <laughs> I it confused the fuck out of me when I was like, people stand up to wipe. What the fuck? Yeah, that was the problem that I was in, uh, occurring. That's a common thing. I it it's funny because like the whole thing is that, like 
one fifty percent doesn't even know that the other fifty percent exists. There are, because it seems so ludicrous and so yeah. stupid that they would even do that. There are at least three different type ways to wipe that I've that I've like. What's heard the third of. one? It's like you put your leg up while you're sitting down and then wipe. What the fuck? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, see, I like I mean, yeah. maybe it's like you know forty forty Acrobatics. twenty or something. For like, is it really like forty forty for like standing up and sitting down? I it don't seems know. like I, I was don't know. I was taught by me mum to when you know sit down and all that. So yeah, me too. That's my lineage, I guess. But I wish she would still stop sitting there telling me to do it nowadays. But <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, because I is what it is. I, I this 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 comes up every now and then on podcasts and all that. Like I was watching the Rooster Teeth podcast and. They were talking about a skit they did with someone, and the person on the toilet, they sat down to wipe, and they're like, why the fuck is this guy doing this? And the people on the podcast are like, you know, some people wipe like that. And he's like, what? What the fuck? Like, he's a stand-up wiper. I just don't... I don't oh. understand that. You fucking get up, How? you're like perched over it. It seems so much harder. It seems impractical, you're yeah. You're pressing your fucking B cheeks together. Yeah. It's harder to get up and up and this out. Guy, this guy was a big dude as well, so it wasn't like there was ample clearance. Like, <laughs> ample clearance. There's some maneuvering involved in that in that, in that, uh, that operation right it's there. It's like like those signs for trucks where it's like, you need to have <laughs> this, lo- much, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like yeah. this much clearance to get through. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, uh, yeah no, I'm, I'm a pretty confident sit downer and i'm proud of it the the thing that kind of like sparked this is that i was watching like jazza animation videos and he did a review on a like a mobile tablet and he for some reason he had a part where he was on the toilet and he's he's he fucking recorded himself mocking like getting up and wiping like <laughs> like fucking knelt over or whatever and i was just like why do people wipe like that i mean theoretically you know how they've people I'm claiming have... superiority on sitting down wiping so am I because you know how there's like there's companies now that are making those like stools so that you like shit properly <laughs> they make stools <laughs> they've uh, yeah nice one Jordy nice one yeah the... they make those like steps I guess where yeah, like you sit down and you have your legs straight. up and so that you can like your your b-hole gets properly like stretched That's... for a clean yeah, yeah. exit it's to make it like straight or something this even is... though yeah. This is a really good topic to talk about. Yeah. I mean, we th- we have done 28 weeks straight of this, and I think this is, might be our best moment, talking yeah. about how... <laughs> What's well, interesting, because... How it, we take shits this is, on the internet. This is pure split view content, even though it we have... Really is, it was, really is. I was expecting you to have a different opinion. Then, <laughs> like, you, a, you expect me to be a stand-upper? I was, I was like, oh, shit, is Geordie talking about this person because they sit down wipe? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's weird, <laughs> dude, yeah. <laughs> See, well, then there you go. Everyone can yeah. add that to both our Wikipedias, by the way. I wonder if it's a, down, I wonder if it's a cultural thing. Like, some cultures just, by happenstance, uh, evolved to, evolved probably, to stand probably. up. Probably. Yeah. Well, I mean, think about, like, in uh, in countries where they don't, like, they have, like, drop toilets, like, or no, no actual bowl. Yeah, yeah. Like you kind of can't sit down and do it. Yeah, you just be squat over in it. Shit. Yeah, dip it in shit. Okay, dip it in shit. <laughs> oh, what? A nice reference that no one's gonna get. Probably not. No. Yeah. Oh, well, Even the we get it, like and that's what matters. Three hundred thousand views or something. Yeah. Um. There are there is. It always freaks me out that some countries just don't have toilet paper. They just have water. Yeah, or they, just nothing. They just wipe their fucking. They touch their ass and then wash it off with the water, which. Uh, like compared to either cleaning something with water or paper, I would take water, but I just don't I get wouldn't. that. I no, like the the argument for for bidets is always like, would you rather clean your ass with like a scruffy piece of paper or water? Well, it's scruffy if you're buying like one ply tissue. Well, you paper. know what I mean, like tissue. Like, yeah, I would prefer water because I don't think one ply should be legal. <laughs> I don't think you should be able to buy it's one not, It's not ethical. It's crepe paper is yeah. what it is. And you fucking... You have to, like, have, like, eight layers of it so that you don't immediately finger your own asshole when you go to wipe your ass. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, it's... You can't... You can't use that. I've told you about this. Are you wasteful with toilet paper? No, I'm not... I, I'd, like, try to use at one square because I have one three ply. One square! Because I have three ply. But... But... <laughs> that's, like, direct contact to the b-hole. No, like, three ply... So you use <laughs> one sheet, one single square the, of three ply. I try to, yeah. I can't look at you anymore. Because I'm efficient with... No, I. it's not like I'm like, nah. oh, one one, and I'm done. Like, I fucking... You do another one just in case. Like to be How like, many squares would you go through in the average shit? I don't know, like two or three? What the fuck? Is that is that little? Is That's that a lot? That's very little. For me, at least. Because I'm efficient? 
I I am like I want to make Jordy. sure that I get it all. Okay, Jordy, I I'm don't get me wrong. I have a clean asshole, dude. No, I I'm, cl- sh- I'm sure. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, I see when you when you bend over because okay, we don't so. record with clothes on. Everyone yeah. knows that. I I am very particular. Like I feel not okay if I do not have a clean asshole. So. Yeah, well, I mean, rest assured, I'm I'm properly cleaning myself. Oh, I'm sure that you are, dude. Yeah. I'm sure that you are. Um, yeah, I I I maybe like a four square That's per fine. wipe, and then I fold it over so I don't make direct contact, and then it's back to what? front. But because I don't want to get shit on my fucking fingers, Through dude. Toilet paper, okay. Yeah, you fold it over, and then you get a nice clean wipe, and you get a nicer nice wipe i say try like I, I i won't stop until i'm clean like that's that's my prerogative fair enough sorry that is a good prerogative yeah to have just because i use fancy words wow i don't know how you're gonna have any better questions than this because that was a Jordy, fucking stellar why question. do we drink milk why do we go up to an animal in the fucking wild squeeze its tits and then drink what comes <laughs> out its tits. why do we do that jody why do we do that yeah look there's always that classic joke of like <laughs> what was the first guy who discovered that doing yeah like or goat's what milk the fuck or something was he doing yeah really yeah. someone needs to check up on that i mean <laughs> he was crazy enough that he started a movement right dude the cow just fell over and sometimes it takes pure insanity to change the world you know yeah it really Looking radical at- changes exactly and a guy going up to something that would have just looked like a dick if you didn't know anything about... Oh, yeah, dude, that like, totally looks like a penis. Yeah, well, totally. Six yeah, yeah. penises or however many they have. <laughs> and and okay. just just go, keep going because it wouldn't immediately make milk. You have to, like, give it a few goes, I think. I think if, if a cow hasn't been milked, like, it's it's primed and ready to go. <laughs> it's That's, armed. Yeah, the exactly. The pin has been pulled. Yeah. Bomb has been planted. <laughs> Bomb has been planted. Oh my god! Do you know that that dude was involved in like uh, child minor? Uh, what was it? Child pornography and exploitation of minors. That voice actor, the, the dude who recorded the original like CS:GO. I mean, uh, like Counter Strike. Bomb has been planted, kind of things. Wow! I don't want to say his name because I, it might be wrong, but I think he might have been cleared for it, or like it was some sort of, like the girl literally just didn't see how old she was. But that's uh, that's. It was freaky for a while. People were like, oh, okay, should we, like, include this audio and all that? And yeah. Valve were, like, trying to stay away from it. Like, you haven't heard from it since Valve were, like, pretty... It's Valve, not like they... Valve keeps quiet a lot well, yeah, of the time. Yeah, like, that's, that's yeah. their, like, main, like, fucking strategy is to be quiet. But yeah. that's just weird tidbit. But, yeah, why do we drink milk, Jordy? Why? Uh, it's tasty. Wow. I love milk. Why do we why do we extract this this uh, white gold well, from it, it cows? Well, it has protein in it. It's, you know... Okay. It's decent for you if you don't drink too much of it. Calcium. And it tastes, it's tasty. Why is I'm it... one of those fucking nasty freaks who will just pour himself a glass of milk. Yeah. I love that shit. My 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 family does not like uh, full cream milk, so I, I don't drink milk that often because it's always skim milk and all that. Mm. And I can't be bothered buying milk just to drink it because I'm not going to drink that much yeah, a week. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. But um, see, I, I'm a I'm a big fan of cereal. I love cereal, so okay. I, I have milk at least one time a day, in the morning and in my coffee, because okay. I have pl- multiple usually. Yeah. Um, and then that's it. I probably do drink too much. <laughs> okay. But I mean, I don't put much in my coffees. But I think people drink it because it's it's you can it's so versatile, dude. You can do so much with milk. It just seems really strange to me that like society is, like, somewhat does revolve around I, milk. I know. I, I've actually thought about this as well, because like, we both work in supermarkets. That's probably why you thought about it, right? Because I, I, I was see, I, I, I was saw, just like, kind of thinking about it. Like, on the weekends when it's super busy, and you see, like, every single person buying, like, six or sometimes nine liters of milk. Yeah. For, like, a family of, like, you know, probably five or six for that much milk. But, like, mm. um, it's just crazy how every single person you go to the store for, like, bread and milk. Like, that's yeah. just why some people go. As you said before, like, there's so many things that use milk. Making bread requires milk exactly. as well. Making cakes, uh, making cheese. Like, there are yeah. so many products that require milk, or milk is a part of, like, just the process. Like, we it's... have a society based around keeping cows, or most cows, I guess, uh, in captivity or whatever, yeah. like, extracting liquid from them and using it. Like, yeah. that's an intricate part of our society. All that, because one fucking whack job decided to start wanking off cows hundreds yeah, of years yeah. ago. And now every single person uses it every single day. Yeah. Well, not really, but it, this, most people. It's just something kind of weird to think about. Like, 
we can just like what what would have happened if that dude didn't discover cows have milk or was rejected by society or whatever? Uh, look, I think it still would have happened eventually because everyone. Oh yeah, I'm sure like, it would have. But what if what if we were in some sort of parallel dimension where that honestly did not happen? Well, we would you probably have to not have anything that could be milked. Yeah, like, for that to happen. In which case, I don't know what would happen. Yeah, like, like what would a world be like with that milk without fucking cake? I'm actually not that big Without fan of fucking cake. cake. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of cake, actually, yeah. but you know what I mean? Like, all, all these tasty treats. You ever had a lamington? Mm, yeah. That's some good shit, boy. Okay. If you're not from Australia, then you probably don't. They, they have, they do they know have lamingtons? Fucking la- everyone knows what lamingtons are. Really? Yeah. I don't think that's common, true. Because they always get told that in America, like, oh, you know. Oh, yeah. Such and such See, thing. we go down to Australia and we have the uh, lamingtons. Lamingtons, and we yeah. ride on the kangaroos. It, like everyone is told that and in the America, emus. that one story about like, oh, you know, this this the uh, maid or whatever just couldn't make any. They just had sponge left in coconut. Like, what are you going to do with that? Yeah. You can bind it and whatever. Like, yeah, like it's. I find it so interesting how recipes are sort of from hundreds of years people have been making stuff yeah, but like yeah. people just threw stuff together and go holy shit that's good yeah, that... and now like 200 years yet later we're still making cakes I think about that so often how people figure out this kind of shit like oh this yeah. specific thing is poisonous oh this specific thing yeah, does what this you and all that fuck up and you're like mm, this has some cyanide in it yeah, yeah. that doesn't taste very good oh. You can you can do that because there are like there are nuts and shit that I just have signed. Exactly, it's lots of seeds. Like if yeah. you you wouldn't know not to eat the seed until someone ate the seed. Exactly, and you could like, be eating the seed your entire life, build up immunity, and give it to someone else, and they die, and you're like, oh, instantly. that was kind yeah, of yeah, strange. Everyone's different tolerance is like, hmm, yeah, that's some pretty killer food. Am I right? Am I right? Have you ever seen that one video of? Well, there's actually a couple couple of videos of people taking cyanide in court. No, it's not a good video to watch. Why would I have seen that? I don't know. I don't frequent live leak. Well, I frequent 4chan, and that's on there quite oh, often. Oh, I see, yeah. And you know what everyone should frequent? What? R slash Lidview podcast. Exactly. Um, insert pre-roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, there's there's a couple of videos of people, like, in court after they get after, through the hearings and they get finally convicted. They'll just literally be like, oh, my God, I'm so sad. They put their mouth, their hand up to their mouth, and then, like, eat a pill, and then they just start... They, so they look they'd... surprised, they regret it, because they're just like, oh, oh, Well, it would fucking hurt, I imagine. It would destroy your insides. It, it, it Cyanate rips the oxygen from all your cells, so you would instantly oh. start suffocating. These people start foaming from the mouth, writhing and all that. Like, it's a horrifying video. It would be a terrible way to go. I would never pick... Possi- they say drowning is the worst way to die, and that's literally instantly drowning. Yeah, like, yeah. Everything, like, is... I don't think... Uh, drowning or burning, I have to imagine... I, I imagine burning, you would probably lose your senses pretty quickly if you burnt. That's true, because your nerve endings would just You'd probably be go into fried. shock instantly. Yeah, yeah, true. And uh, whereas, you know... You're still conscious drowning, for a long time while you're drowning. Yeah, drowning, like, it's it's a primal signal in your brain, hey, we need oxygen right now. Like, and also, you're consciously aware of the fact that you cannot get oxygen. Yeah, exactly. So you know you're waiting to die. I would never fucking, like, cyanide. Why the fuck? Yeah. Why? Well, I know, like, I don't know if it's cyanide, but I know that a lot of special forces, like, particularly undercover agents, have, like, killed... Polonium-238. Ki- oh, there you go. They, like, they have the <laughs> kill pills. <laughs> where, like, oh, no, yeah, okay. Where, yeah. like, if they get caught or they're gonna be interrogated or something in order to protect the uh, information of their country... They uh, that's, slip. Uh, every single one of them keeps one on them somewhere. That might be a spy myth, but that's probably cyanide. That's I, I've, I was that. watching a few of those like YouTube documentaries about uh, all these types of... I think it was a Wired interview or something. <laughs> yeah, of, like, Wired. You know, you know, trustworthy one, source. Yeah, one of, <laughs> one of these videos where it's like, you know, um, XX uh, CIA uh, super yeah, agent yeah, yeah, yeah. watches React, reacts, to, yeah. reacts to videos and like yeah. yes we actually do keep uh, pills on important missions where we <laughs> have to take them or something like yeah. that hey here's a bunch of declassified information for you yeah exactly I'm listening YouTube. to this I'm like I'm pretty sure you can't say this if yeah. this is real but yeah. it would make sense to be honest to have something like that I would think yeah, but, I guess so but I don't know if a country is going to make that people die just for that like I think they would <laughs> I think they'd rather like give them like anti-torture like fucking I don't know I'm not fucking CIA yeah, person just give them some fucking LSD Jordy how does a microwave work how, do, how does that work microwaves how do how do microwave ovens cook your food radiation isn't it what kind of radiation microwave radiation what frequency of radiation I don't fucking know 2.4 gigahertz 
So it's still less than my processor then. Well, so does that mean I can cook shit in my PC? Well, Jody, 2.4 gigahertz. Does that sound familiar to you? Uh, is it like 5G? No, 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 no. No? No? no. no. What, is, what is 2.4 gigahertz? I don't know. Hey, Tell go- me. Hey, Google. Oh, my God. <laughs> what frequencies do, does Wi-Fi operate on? I'll get, can I just guess it's 2.4? 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. Hey, Google. <laughs> what frequency does Bluetooth operate on? 2.4 gigahertz, I'm guessing. 2.848 gigahertz. Oh, Wow. So what's your point? That so I should Jordy, be able to transfer files to my microwave? Jordy, why are people okay with Wi-Fi <laughs> but freak out over 5G even though Wi-Fi <laughs> operates on the same frequency as a microwave oven? Because people don't know about that. And he, people will never look into it the because fucking, they don't it's care It's on the about box. It. They it's don't the... care, Tom. They don't care. It doesn't fit their narrative. That's why. Do you know why? Because Wi-Fi has existed since, like, the 70s or whatever. Yeah. Or 90s. It's an Australian invention. And it's been around so long that people say, see, like, hey, oh, microwave isn't cooking my brain. Wow, that's freaky. Mm. Wow. I guess it, microwave isn't bad. Are you really trying to appeal to the reasoning of the people who are burning down 5G so, towers? So, Jordy, Is that what you're doing? Geordie, why are people okay with the sun, even though it emits more radiation than 5G towers? <laughs> I don't know, Tom. Geordie, I'm not one of those explain people. explain this to me. Geordie. I'll explain it to you right now. Okay, please. Here it goes. Yeah. People who believe that 5G is killing them are dumb. Are dumb. Yeah. That's it. That's what. I, <laughs> that's, that's literally, literally what I was yeah, gonna say. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Is that because they just they just we've talked about this before. People who are so fucking in their own heads. Yeah. That they cannot perceive anything different than what they know. I think a lot of it too some, is some, that some other random anti-vax mom out there said that five G towers that are disguised as trees are giving people coronavirus and cancer at the same time, and yeah. that's all it takes. One fucking, like, one person high up in the anti-vax community or in some flat earth fucking society to make people go nuts. I think uh, a part of it, too, is that it's something so scary to them, like coronavirus, that they need a solution that they can, like... Exactly. They need something to blame it on. Well, they need some way of solving this, like... That's not. Don't go to Costco and <laughs> don't not yeah, wear a yeah, mask because they want to go and get their don't fresh fucking, fades in there. Yeah, exactly. And you know their their daily coffee in the morning before they go off to their. I literally, job. I literally saw someone with a fresh Karen cut the other like yeah. yesterday. Like I literally got, saw someone exactly got, like, like that. Absolutely Karen the other day. Yeah. By some lady, she came in and she was looking for a particular product, <laughs> and I think she had um, she had put in she said on the phone that she wanted a white pair of headphones or something yeah and so he put the white pair aside and then she came to get them and then she said i asked for the pink pair and then yeah. you were like no you actually asked for the white pair that's why we took it mm. she was like well i changed my mind okay i need a pink pair and I'm like well we've sold everything except for this one because this is the one you asked for and she's like i need to speak to the manager and then from like across <laughs> the other side of the store i heard it like yeah. sort of like sixth sense you know i started twitching around all it's that like shit. that one metal gear solid exclamation mark going like yeah <laughs> yeah and then well i wasn't the highest level manager on yeah. duty so i didn't have to deal with that like the highest tier manager yeah and it was fucking rough she just fucking ripped into our store manager but i'm angry because i said the wrong thing but i actually met this and you should have told it's that's funny funny because in every situation like that you can tell the moment when they realize that they fucked up but they're mm-hmm. too stubborn to back down well yeah they're in they're in too deep at this yeah, point. yeah they're in too yeah. deep so they just keep ruining people's day for the sake of it did i did i tell this story about a dude chucking coins at me I yeah think, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Did, yeah people I, at work like i'll see people i haven't seen in a while because like we have different schedules and they'll ask me like oh did someone throw coins at you like yeah it was pretty cool yeah that's just a common thing like oh someone threw coins at tom at at uh, work see here's the thing right yeah for for all these people who come in like the karens of the world who come in yeah and you they, they make a big scene and all that shit what they are thinking they're doing is leaving a massive impact on the store or I'm something. I'm never shopping at the store yeah, again. Yeah, they, they, they come in with the idea plummet. that what they've done has, has ended the store, right? Or something like that. It's impacted the store. But the ir- irony is, is that like half an hour later, everyone's forgotten. Or and they're then, joking about or it. Or they're joking yeah. about it. It's like, you've, you've done nothing but, but go out of your way to 
lose time out of your day. Yeah. Like that's all you've done. They they get something out of it. Like they it's some it's like a power play for them. Like it's I I mean, we're not going to talk too much about this. This is just our life. Like, yeah, you know? yeah we, we deal with this a lot because yeah. working in uh, supermarkets and stuff yeah. is a big fucking... It's the ultimate place to get that. And probably me more so than you guys. You guys would get... I feel like you guys would get more meaner people. Yeah. But what we get is more frequent because we also sell random shit as well as and you're, you're like a bigger kind of store as well like more more yeah. visited whereas mine is a very local store yeah but um so yours is more personal exactly when it happens like it's just the the li- the people i get are just fucking strange like the, the mm, angry mm. people whereas yours you get like the common karen and all that. yeah yeah like low tier karen kind of shit <laughs> just pick grind- your class <laughs> just grinding on the karens yeah that's a bad thing to say <laughs> i meant that as an rpg way like you're building experience off yeah. dealing with don't the grind people please <laughs> okay but um yeah like the people we get are just like just weird like they just one time this was shortly after the bag ban kind of thing we have to purchase bags and we don't oh, like yeah we don't really ask people if they want a bag or like give them a bag instantly because we're not going to just charge people for a bag and i'd like scandal the shit the dude's shit and we went over the smokes counter because he wanted some fucking dowries mate and he yeah, said exactly mate. that Fuck. he was like where's my fucking bag and i was like oh you didn't want a bag and he was like mate i need a fucking bag uh, and i'm like okay i can sell you bags like you should have sold me one i'm just uh, this shit doesn't get to me i'm literally just like okay nah, dude. after a while like it just doesn't yeah. get to you anymore i remember when i first started makes them because... angrier if you don't react exactly yeah what I do now is I do everything in my power to make them more angry because it's just funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just it's just funny to me now, and like, it's only I've actually not had personally that many experiences with this, mm. but um, I remember one time some lady she was ripping into me right from the start, and I didn't know why. I, I can't. I mean, as in I can't remember why, but at the time I probably knew why. <laughs> but um, so w- what I get to do is I could always just like, I, I stand up right. So yeah. I can scan shit faster, and I just launch everything to the left, right? I, people I just, fucking, they, they say, like, because we can't pack bags anymore. Yeah. People are like, oh, it's like Aldi, you know, where they just stare at you creepily. It was like, I have a friend that works Aldi, and he told me he does that intentionally. So that's the thing you to say that about. to people? I tell people you do this shit intentionally, stare at them creepily. And they always like, yeah, that makes sense. We do it intentionally because that's not... You do it intentionally. Ev- no, everyone who works there does it. Just stares at the customer creepily, waiting for them to finish. I don't fucking stare at them you... creepily. I do not make eye Jordy, contact because Jordy it is, is lying. In, Jordy is lying no, through his fucking I, teeth I, right I, now. I barely make eye contact with my friends because I, I find it strange. I actually laughed. No, no. Actually, no, to Jordy. Jordy. Here's what I do. Shut shh, up. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I'm going to explain what happened. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I we were talking about this because we're boring people. We're playing like fucking Cuphead or something. I was like, "Do you intentionally stare at creepily, creep, uh, people creepily?" And he was like, "Yeah, it's funny." Ha ha ha! Like he literally, Jordy told me he stares at people creepily when they when they're like you know struggling to pack bags. Well, I don't. Jordy told me this. I I do it. I do. You said creepily. Well, I didn't mean creepily. Like then. direct I, eye contact. I will, I will take s- it back live on air. You said, "Quote: It gives and me will- sexual pleasure." <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Um, what actually happens is that the reason we do that is because one, we have a KPI. We have to do it fast because we have to have a certain amount of, okay. um, like a scan rate per minute or yeah. whatever it adds up yeah. to being. And two, it's actually not what you're supposed to do. There's actually like rules for what you're supposed to do at Aldi, and as if you if you have particularly like shitloads of items, yeah, you're supposed to take it all to that big massive bench at the back of the store, mm. and then you pack it there because you hold up the queue that way. Yeah, but no one's gonna fucking do that. Well, then that's their problem. That's <laughs> yeah. why I do it yeah. because it says on entry that that's what you're supposed to do. So that's technically you've agreed to that by coming yeah. into our store. So and. I just do that, and once I'm done, I just lock the till because it doesn't count my KPI after that. Yeah, yeah. and then I just I just sit there waiting because I don't care at that point. I've I've kind of understand this because I have I we're basically operating like Audi at this point because we're not yeah. allowed to pack custom baby bags. And... I don't fucking sit there like this watching them like come yeah. on then you told come me on, you, you told me you did that. Oh, I was probably just trying me. to be funny. I'm always trying to be funny. I okay? questioned you. I was like, Jordy, you're an asshole, and he was like, Yeah, I am. I am an asshole. <laughs> all right, everyone knows that, but like I don't sit there. St- I physically couldn't do that. I am too awkward for Jordy, that. Jordy, next question. All right, next question. Let's do it. It was found that Osama bin Laden when he was captured had anime and counter strike on his computer if you played a, if you played in multiplayer game with him 
on Counter-Strike as the terrorist and helped them plant a bomb, are you considered a terrorist supporter? <laughs> that is true. He actually had anime and hentai and what Counter-Strike he, on his computer. What did he have? I think he had, like, uh, Lucky Star and all that, if you know what oh that is. Oh, my God. CSS. That's yeah. fucking awesome. Oh, well, no, it's not. Actually, you, it is a little bit awesome. You helped Osama bin Laden plant a Well, technically, bomb. I probably didn't because we're in different sort of zones. He was probably <laughs> playing in a in a different uh, server to us. Yeah, he was that. playing in the fucking, like, Iraq, whatever. So yeah, I know yeah. I don't just know if they have many dedicated servers there, I'll be honest. But, I mean, you can just play it in real life over there, can't you? There is... If you played Counter-Strike in, like, 2005 or whatever, 2004, there was a decent chance, like, decent... That you played with Osama bin Laden. Was he like global elite? The, the, oh, this was CSS. Yeah. CSS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, isn't that weird? I mean, look, everyone has a hobby. If you if you hosted a torrent, if you seeded a torrent of Lucky Star in two thousand and three, there's a decent chance you sent. There's packets. not a decent chance. There is a chance. Well, because if when when you're seeding a torrent, you send it to everyone who's requesting download. So, if you downloaded a torrent. Or seeded a torrent of Lucky Star. There's a decent chance you sent or received packets from Osama fucking Bin Laden. Well, I don't know. Look, everyone's got a piece of history. <laughs> you know? Jordy, answer the question. Uh, well, no, obviously. You you're not considered you a fucking criminal... You helped Osama Bin Laden. You defended, you defended Osama Bin Laden no. planting a conspirator. Yeah. Yeah. That's just not what the word I Jordy. was trying to say was, but yeah. No, Conspira. you're fucking not. Conspirator. Cons- That's yeah. the one, yeah. No, I no. You're fucking not because it's a goddamn video game. But you, you, you helped Osama bin Laden plant a bomb in a in a video game. Well, I wouldn't have helped him because what, didn't you bin say Laden. he wasn't on my team? No, he's on your team. You're like you're he's on the on terrorist team, team okay. with him because obviously he's going to play on the terrorist team. He must love it when it says terrorist win. Do you think he, he must love that? Do you think he intentionally picked terrorist team every chance he probably? Could? He went on D Dust two or D Dust one, I guess it would yeah. be, and then just. <laughs> I mean, look, everyone has a hobby, right? My newfangled one is all this uh, music stuff that I'm into. And yeah. I, granted, I'm not a terrorist leader of, uh, you know... Does that really need to be classified? Well, you never know, okay? Yeah. But um, everyone's got to be interested in something. I'm sure, Like, Hitler liked to paint, you know? <laughs> yeah. And he wasn't great, but... W- wasn't look. this thing where people, like, it's a common practice to, just, like, show people Hitler's art and be like, oh, what do you think about this? Yeah, like, yeah. It's great. It's fantastic. It's great. This was painted just, by Hitler. Yeah, you satanic worshipper. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. That's literally how it yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah. So. I've done that. Yeah. I know I've done that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Jordy, next question. Yeah. Is hentai of minors so-called lollicon okay? Well, no. I don't think so. Can you, Is it right to be arrested for drawing a picture? Well, no. Look, here's, here's, here's what I'll say, right? There is a market for yeah. everything. In this, yeah. in, in the porn industry, all right? There literally is a market for anything. Yeah. And all I'm saying is, is that, like, I, I think it's probably good that Hentai Haven doesn't put Lolly on there anymore. Hentai Haven doesn't exist. Didn't they come back again? Nah. Ah. Uh, Someone might have bought their domain, but. I, know, I remember I saw, like, an article of some guy who tried to remake Hentai Haven or tried to re upload it himself, burnt his house sites. down or something. <laughs> Okay. He, he tried, like, on his, like, shitbox laptop to bring back Hentai yeah. Haven, and then he, like, burned his house down. Well, yeah, there are archives and all this, but... But, like, I... Look, just keep it separate, is all I'll say, because, like, there will be, like... Think think of young... Geordie. Young Tom, young Geordie, who's yeah. logging into Hentai Haven when he's 12, because he wants to look at, like, Pokemon titties or something, Pokemon okay. boobies, and then he sees that shit, right? You can, you can set up a bad example from the start. What, what if... It was actually a 500-year-old demon girl, and she just looked young because that's her mortal representation. Look, this is... this is. How can I answer this, really? You, realistically, you cannot look, say look, I'm okay, okay with... If I turn yeah. it off... If I was to watch some, which I, I am I've, not, if I was to watch some, watch right? Watch some. Okay. Um, then I would... I, it's not like I'd be going, hmm, let me have a look at the backstory of this. I'm like, I want to bust a nut, so I'm going to pick something that I want to bust a nut I want to I wanna show you... No a... one is going to look up into the fact whether it's a... Well, this is morally okay, because she's actually a 500-year-old that's demon. That's what people do. That's a, that's a thing. That's an actual... Well, that, that's a that, meme that's at this point. point. You know what? I take it back. You shouldn't make it. You shouldn't make it. It's weird. It's weird, dude. You, what was your original argument? Was that like just keep it separate on the internet somewhere? Let me where I can't find it. Let me go to Enhentai and go to the tags. This is uh, Dojin, so like uh, nothing basically like books. two dudes in a room with hentai. I'm not. I'm showing you the tags. <laughs> this, um, oh, this bookmarks he means. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to bookmark pornography on my phone. Yeah, man. Hey, I've <laughs> met people who do that who have no shame. Are those people normal functioning humans? No, they really aren't. Yeah, exactly. It's actually <laughs> only one person that I know of. <laughs> okay. And giving them the name person is very rough, so. Yeah. Uh oh, they they removed the numbers. <laughs> well, okay. Well, there you go. So the tag like Lolicon on and hentai, which I always put a dash in front of, of course. Let this be a moment in Split View history that Tom was looking up lolly fucking porn during an episode. Can you actually not say that? <laughs> you just did it. You just said just that you were the, doing it. Dude, it was for demonstrational purposes. Yeah, yeah. You can't with your. We we record naked, dude. They, I can see that you like. They it. actually removed the amount of results. Usually, it returns like. You know how many? I'm sure it's very popular. I'm it's, sure it's very it's popular. It's disturbingly popular. Yeah, that do, it's not. It's disturbing, I, it but actually, it doesn't surprise me. It actually me. creeps me. I've out. said this so many times. I've probably said it once every single fo- episode for the past 28 weeks. Yeah, nothing surprises me anymore. Jordy, in 2008, a man in Sydney was convicted, convicted, not charged, convicted with possessing uh, child pornography for having a picture of Lisa Simpson on his computer. A pornography picture of Lisa. Oh, okay, Simpson. I was going to say what? Just just a regular picture or like naked? Yeah. Well, I, it actually says from The Simpsons, but I'm assuming it's Lisa Simpson since it's yeah. like child pornography. Well, uh, maybe conviction. it's Maggie. Conviction. Conviction. Maybe it's Maggie. Not charges. He was convicted. Honestly, I can see how you'd get away with that because, like, it's of a picture, Jordy, of a picture. Well, if you can tell that the drawing is supposed to be a young girl, we know Lisa Jordy, isn't, isn't a 500-year-old she-demon, okay? In, in South Australia, porn with small-breasted women can be considered cheese pizza if it, they're reasonably con- con- deemed to be under the age of consent. So Whoa. not even explicit, reasonably deemed to be under the age of, con- of yeah, consent. I don't know about all this. Look, I you don't can think- be convicted because someone thought they looked underage. A picture, a fictional picture. If that was the case, you would it would be looked into. It's not like you would just be. This is law. This is law. I know it's law. I know, it's law. I know yeah. it's law. But if the person was just like fresh eighteen, right, and looked like they were fifteen, <laughs> okay. yeah, then I, what people I, would do is we, they would look into it. It's not like I've seen you do this. Now I am taking you immediately to this, prison. I like. There is a system in place for this. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not arguing for this. If any anything can any like if there was a picture, if someone had pictures of actual cheese pizza, that is fucked up. That is wrong. They should go to prison and that one fucking like camp camp pedo in like prison sections. They have these little dormitories because they'll get yeah, fucking yeah. murdered in yeah. normal pop. Yeah. But drawings though, lines, lines, people drawing lines. Yeah, in the shape of a naked fucking child how do you deem if it's a child when you know that for instance lisa is a fucking child so what i was saying before that's (laughs) it kind of seems kind of obvious to me there is there is what i'm like if it's a child that's fucked up yes but this law literally says reasonably deemed to be under the age of okay well the key there is reasonably who do what what is reasonable who deems whether it's reasonable First of all, the officer who catches you in the act, and then it goes to a judge, and then it goes to a court. And then people do research into all this so stuff. If I Your put... lawyers look into this, and they reach out to them and say, can you send us some proof of this girl's age or something? If they, genu- <laughs> if they genuinely do you have, are. Do you have proof of this drawn character's age? Well, okay, if you're talking about, <laughs> like, lolly or I'm something. Talking, I'm talking about, like, cartoon images. Mm, yeah, that's different. I thought you just meant like a younger girl. No, I'm literally. This entire thing is just oh, about cartoon shit. images. Okay, yeah. Um, like drawn pictures, like in in fucking like a uh, Photoshop or like Illustrator, or whatever. I don't know how to answer that then. Yeah, like it's it's fucked up. People protested this law, of course. Well, yeah, because you can't you can't validate a cartoon character's age based on a drawing. But I mean, you can tell. The thing is, I would be okay if this law didn't exist because. I want I want people to be arrested based on strong evidence, strong convictions, like objective evidence, not su- not like subjective, reasonably deemed shit. Okay, but you know what that law does? What stops people from drawing fucking young children naked? Yeah, yeah, but th- this is the thing. This is it the makes thing. them stop and think. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't draw f- Kim Possible with her fucking snatch out. This 
she's like 16 or something so that's oh, like, well that's okay then yeah in in like this law what i'm saying this law you can take any picture in south australia and say hey they have small breasts they're a child you're arrested well, if they're naked, surely not just if they have well, like drawn. There's drawn like pictures. a committee of people who like get their ruler out and measure. That's what girls I'm saying. Tits. There is so much like subjectivity to this law that it. I don't understand how this is. Considered Honestly, law. you would probably never convict anyone on that. Yeah, that's like, what I'm you, saying. You just you probably just would never be able to. If you have, if someone draws yeah, honestly, a picture of a purpose, is probably just to try and stop people from making lolly stuff. That like, or, or, or or insinuate to people that there is going to be action if you try and distribute yeah. it. Like, like if someone draws a picture of a child in a cartoonish way and they're actually a child, yeah, that's fucked up. Someone draws a picture of like a flat-breasted woman who it, it was has a petite frame, and then someone goes and hey, that's a child. You're arrested. That's fucked up as well. Well, yeah, I'm I'm protesting this law I think because it, it's, it's it's the context that it's in. Because you yeah. could be doing a family portrait of someone who wants say you know, a cool animated one, maybe someone has an art style you like, yeah. and you just send them your family, and there's, like, you have your younger sister in it. Yeah, is like, that okay? Is that okay? Well, that would be okay, because they're you'd drawing, be able to tell. They're drawing a cartoon you... image of an under of, of a person under the age of yeah, consent. Yeah, but what you would do in that case is you would show them the original picture that, that you gave them for reference. A picture of an underage naked child, Jordy? Well, they wouldn't be naked if it's then a family... Then why are we talking about this? Because I'm just saying, like, that would be okay. What, what? Why did you not question that when I said a family photo? Who takes a naked family I've seen photo, you fucking up. monster? Seen, have you seen that one photo of like them wearing like naked knitted shit? In that no, one? Tom, I haven't. Let me. There's, there's a. I'm literally. Gonna, next question, dude. I don't want to see this. I'm li- <laughs> that's that's my last question. Oh, okay. I'm literally gonna type in creepy family portrait or creepy oh family gosh. photo. Look, there are photos like that. There is fucking photos of me and my sisters in a bath, like we're all under the age of consent. Well, okay, but like that's that's a that's what I'm saying. That's fine because it's cute. If you ask someone to draw that as a portrait, does it make it fucked up? Like, or as a cartoonish kind of thing? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so much subjectivity uh, in this law. I'm not know. protesting that underage cartoon shit is okay because it's not. I'm I'm protesting someone can deem something to be not okay without any objective evidence. That's what I'm protesting. Yeah, I don't know. That's I, I really can't. I can't give a definitive answer on this because you can't. That's there's, there's, if you can't yeah. give a definitive answer, this should a, be a law. It's, it's quite a yeah. You're right. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. If you if you can't, and I mean at the moment I'm studying law. Yeah. <laughs> like it's 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 seems hard for me to believe that this was even brought in. But it was, it was processed heavily. Yeah. Well, I, I imagine it would have been. It, but it might honestly, be gone it, would, already. it literally would have been just a bunch of older people who were like, "Well, we have this child." Just yeah, they just problem. they let's have just, an issue, and they're like, "Oh, we can't prove conclusively that they're underage. Let's have let's, a subjective, like, deemed by court, whatever the fuck." Or yeah, well, let's by just officer. have this, and maybe it'll yeah persuade them to not make it as much. I understand why they would want that to be a thing, but the the execution is horrible to me. It's, yeah, like it's it's so, if so I'm much looking leeway. at this purely objectively, yeah. the whole like having lolly stuff yeah. at all. If there are people out there who are not doing this to kids because of the lolly stuff... You can't make that argument, though. I, but, like, I am sure that there is at least one person out it's there... It's like a coping mechanism ...who for has them. used it as a literal coping that's mechanism. Normal, that is the that's, only sort of line that I can say where it's like... This is a very, like... I guess... This is a very important subject at the moment, because this is, like, that governments and shit are starting to crunch down on this, like, lolly kind of shit, and... In my like, I'm gonna have a different argument to everyone else. Would like, cause in my mind, I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's okay at all to have like I think images of a child. Most people's opinion, actually. But like, like you were saying, a coping mechanism kind of thing. I think that normalizes the idea of like underage. Well, you're exactly right. Yeah. You're exactly right. Yeah. Like you could say, oh, it's stopping them from like you know committing these like things, but. The alternative is just to not have that shit and, like, them tell themselves it's bad. Yeah. Instead of being like, oh, it's okay if it's just cartoon, and then, you know, they're a crazy person or they're, like, they're disturbed, so the lines are blurred for them. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you know what, you're right. I think if you if you just straight up say that it is illegal to create yeah. illustrations of naked 
children or something under the age of consent under the age of consent then, then that's there's the whole problem with in japan the technical age of consent is much younger yeah isn't it even like though 12 or something it's like 14 but it's enforced as 18 in like every single district mm. in in japan but the thing is since it's technically 14 you can get away with drawing like underage or well, quote-unquote underage yeah. pictures of of like anime people and all that and i mean it unfortunately it is also a bit of a cultural thing <laughs> is it though it is there are places where it'll be more acceptable actually um, than there is like for instance here i stopped watching anime because i was really creeped out about like kind of young cutie kind of shit like the weird sexualization of like underage characters so i kind of yeah. get that yeah that's and the thing is is that like with all hentai in general yeah they never seem to be enjoying it it's the general consensus that's, is that they just, are that's Japanese against, porn. against their will. That's just Japanese porn, because there is hentai where, like, they do enjoy it. There's literal tags for, like, uh, what happy sex or whatever that. Oh, my gosh. But um, I get what you mean. I think we talked about this, like... Oh, wait, no. We talked about it personally, because we, we talked about this personally. Yeah. Uh, Japanese porn is always, like, the women are, like, in distress and, like, in pain and all that. Yeah, and, like, it's like, I can't get down to that. Nah, that's, that's like, like yeah. rapey kind of shit. I yeah. don't understand anyone. And then that. if you add another layer where one of them's a fucking kid, it's like, yeah, no, thank you. Not, not, big, big no, not thank real you. Japanese porn. In hentai, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. In hentai, yeah, like, yeah. there might be, like, a child. The thing is, the anime art style makes characters look younger as well, so that's mm. another gray area, mm. like... This is a problem. It is a problem, but I don't think it's ever one that you can, you can like put yeah, a you, nail in the coffin. You on. can't stop people from uploading images to like anonymous forums no, or whatever. If, if they can't do it on the surface web, they'll fucking put it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. like you will never stop these people from getting what they need. I think the problem is that it's so normalized. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, if people people want something, yeah, they'll they'll get it. <laughs> I think that's, a yeah, good... that's one heavy ending there. We're about man. 47 minutes, so I reckon that's pretty decent. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, take it easy, everyone. Yeah. Uh, try not to let this uh, get to you too much. See you, my splitties. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See ya.